Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days of Diamond Old Guy Gaming Ed. In this episode, we are gonna go back out and do some more jobs. Um, but I want to show you what I've done so far with the place. Uh, I've been pretty much working overnight now, um, because you know, if we get a couple ferals that come in, we can excuse me, we can handle them uh, now. So I'm not really too worried about that. Um, but I, as you can see, I have. Uh, dug a moat on the north side of the place here and this moat is not meant to be a major defense it's really more to slow the zombos down so if we get a, a horde that comes in you know that gives us a little more time to kill them um and so that being the case i may not actually um you know line this with concrete or i might we'll see uh the advantage of doing that other than you know of course making it stronger is that it will um give us a lot more a lot of xp in the process so we'll see there i initially uh and actually did this a long time ago uh dug a moat over this way too um but then i decided i didn't want to to do it that way um so what we're gonna do is fill this back in i need to make some more uh, topsoil blocks here so let's make i don't know maybe uh, 10 more of these for now and we'll fill those in here. And then um, there's a couple things, a couple of challenges, I guess is the word that I've run into in this process. Um, particularly as it relates to how the ground, you know, goes flush with the edge of the building. Uh, but before we actually look at that, uh, as you can see here, I've put in a, a double double door, and I put in a poor man's drawbridge here. So that way, you know, we can close those after we're in for the night, so to speak, and then uh, zombies can't come across there and beat on the door. And let's see, I've I've repaired the fence. I need to paint it so that this block is exactly the same as that block, but it just needs to be painted. So I haven't gotten that far yet. And let's see, I've worked a little bit more back here. There was a bunch of ruined stone uh, in this area, so I dug that all out and replaced it with topsoil. Something that's kind of odd about Alpha 21 is that it, it when you put a, a block down, it seems to match the texture of the block that's beneath it or next to it uh, because there there was actual sand here. But this is not actually sand now. It's, it's an actual topsoil block, but it still looks like sand um so i don't know that seems like a bug to me because when i put topsoil in over here it immediately becomes topsoil um but when i put it in here even though it's topsoil and here's how we can tell if i dig it up see i'm getting clay i'm not getting sand and gravel like i normally would but then when i put this back here it goes back to sand so i'm gonna say that's probably a bug because why would you want that um, and maybe it's something the fun pimps will, will fix. Another thing I haven't been able to, to really do is get the ground to go flush against the house. Um, like it does here. And these blocks here, these are whole blocks. These aren't plates yet. For some reason, the ground will go flush to these blocks. But when I try and do it over here, it does this little lip up against the house. And for those of you who might be wondering, it doesn't matter if we put down a if we put down a block you know like you would do to flatten the ground normally it, it's still there so i haven't been able to figure out how to deal with that one thing i could do of course is put some blocks down and maybe some plates but that presents its own problem um first of all i can't put i can't put plates along here because of this windowsill um uh, this molding here because that block, you know, points downwards. And so the only way I could do that is not to have the windowsill there. And I like the windowsill. So, you know, that's gonna, that's gotta stay. The second thing that I've noticed in this game is that sometimes when you put plates down, the ground will still bleed, um, through it like this little glitch right here. So it's just not working super, super smoothly the way that I would like it to. 
And, you know, we're still an experimental, so maybe those are some things that the Fun Pimps will work on. It's also possible that things are a little glitchy for me because I didn't restart the game uh, when they did come out with the, the new update like they recommended, so that's on me. But, I mean, I haven't run into any game-breaking issues uh, with this series so far. So even though we started on build... Oh, look, there's a deer in the house. Even though we started on build 313, you know, everything's still working well enough to where we can keep going, even if they're are some, you know, little glitches here and there. That was kind of handy to have breakfast just show right up in the living room there. It's kind of like breakfast in bed, only in this case it's breakfast in the easy chair. Anyway, okay, so, yeah, I haven't done anything uh, with the interior of the house. I probably should, you know, try and shore things up a little bit, I suppose. But, uh, we'll, you know, we'll get to that later. It It is worth fixing this place up even if we don't ultimately stay here forever um, just because of the fact that we get so much XP by doing it and it's fun too I, I enjoy the building aspects of this game uh, quite a bit um, so I it is my intention to to do some building episodes but you know for this basic stuff you know working in the in the yard out here um, I, I decided not to actually you know do that because it's you know it's nothing super fantastic but you know, I'll probably do most of the landscaping off camera, but when we get started with the actual restoration of the house itself, we'll probably do um, at least some of that on camera. We'll see. I'd ask you guys in the comments if you'd like to see me do all of it on camera, but the problem is I'm so far ahead of you that uh, <laughs> it wouldn't make any difference at this point. Uh, so you can see that this is actual sand as I'm digging up here. And we'll replace it with this topsoil, but it's still going to, well, let's see what it does. Yeah, see, it still looks like, oh, doggone it. It still looks like sand. So hopefully, like I said, that's something that will get fixed. Or maybe it's just because my game's not working quite well because we didn't start over. And I accept that if that is the actual case. Also repaired the fence over here too, but again, we got to paint it. And I haven't really gotten uh, to this side of the yard yet. So I'm kind of just working on the backyard. I'm, my plan for this is to clean all that crap out of there and see if we can actually fill the, the pool with water. You know, uh, water flows now in seven days. I haven't messed with it yet, um, but it'll be interesting to see if that actually works. It, it'll look really cool. We'll have an actual pool in the backyard with water in it, which would be neat. Um, okay, so anyway, I think that gets us updated here. The crops are uh, in the growing stage, so that's a good thing. Um, so let's go ahead and... Pop up top side here. Um, we'll grab uh, any waters out of here that are done. Okay, so that's good. And I'm going to just uh, put some stuff away and get ready to go. And then I will meet you guys over at... We don't have any more... Uh, we don't have any more... Whatchamacallit quests. Uh, what am I trying to think? I don't know why I always can't remember the word infested. <laughs> We don't have any more infested quests. Uh, Trader Hugh didn't have any either when I ran over there um, last evening before you know before nightfall. So uh, we're just going to do some normal quests. Uh, we do have one. This one I'm going to do off camera because we've already done it multiple times. This is new though. This Wango Barndo. So uh, I'll do that one on camera just because it's new. Um, I don't know if it's um, you know just one of the older POIs that they've redone or if it's an, a new one new one because we kind of have a mixture of both of those things our mushrooms are growing over here in the attic which is great so yeah I will meet you guys over at our first quest location and uh, we'll go to it then see you in a bit all right guys we are at Wango Barndo not even sure what the heck that means but whatever I guess that's the name of the folks that lived here must be because that's the way all the other ones, uh, all the other residential places work. I forgot to drop off my axe and my hammer because usually I just take a stone hammer with me on, on jobs because they fulfill the same purpose. Save us a slot, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's just do a little bit of pre-looting here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we'll eat that. And we are still continuing to collect uh, spoiled meat for gardening mostly. Um, okay, let's see. Anything else around here? Guess we can hit this. Not interested in any of that stuff. No sirree, Bob. Did I bring my ratchet with me? 
I didn't. Darn it. Okay. See, that's something I really should start carrying with me for taking stuff apart. But usually when I salvage stuff, I do it in a salvaging session as opposed to kind of as I go. Because salvaging as you go fills up your inventory so quick. You know what I mean? So anyway. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start this quest. This is a clear quest. That car sucks because we can't reload it. But this should have reset. It did. And all right. We'll take that and sell it. That is now no longer lootable, but this is. Uh, yeah, we'll take both of those things. Let's check this again. Uh, nope, don't care. And I don't think there was anything else around there. All right, I guess uh, it wants us to start by going up the stairs. And we already have our first victim. It's Jiggly. But we can't see her head, so she gets it right in the butt. That sounded terrible. I didn't mean it that way. Get your minds out of the gutter, you guys. Um, okay, so... Nothing really to loot in here that I can see. Let's go in here. We have the sneak over the trash um, option now. Well, we didn't quite get a sneaky sneak off on Darlene there. We'll take that and sell it. Check the beverage cooler thingy. Nice. Let's eat the pears now because they are not used in recipes. Let's save us a slot there and give us a little bit of nutrition. Check the toity or toilet paper. Okay, more spoiled flesh. Nothing behind there. All right, I guess we're going downstairs now. We checked everything in here, right? This is kind of a cute little house. I've never been in here. I don't know if this is new or if I just never got to, around to it in the previous versions. I think it's new, but don't know that for sure. And I still see one more yellow dot over that way. Let's check the kitchen. Probably we'll chuck that golden rod. Golden rod's also one of those things that when I need it, I just go out and grab a bunch of it in one session rather than have it take up inventory. But if we can keep it, have room for it, we will. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going out into the garage with the fat loots, and we got a cop in a tier one. It's probably not because it's a tier one. It's because of my game stage, I'm sure. Oh, shit. All right. Since we have... Oh, we damaged him enough to... Oh, shit. Well, at least they didn't blow up the main loot. I don't remember what was there before. Dang. I think we probably lost a couple things. Craft high power ammunition. And hey, we have completed Pistol Pete, you guys. That's amazing. Um, let's throw out this. Like I said, we'll throw out this and this. And we'll grab that. And let's see what, I don't remember what Pistol Pete gives us. Let's take a look. Pistol Pete. Shots fired at point blank. Ignore armor. Nice. That's huge, actually. And we can bulk craft 9mm ammo. You know, we need to get ourselves into um, an SMG. Um, because that's basically removes penetrator. Well, I guess the other thing, though, is what do they mean exactly by point blank? I, it's within some kind of range, I suppose, but I don't know exactly what that range is. Ah, oh, man, that's a bummer. I, I don't know, like I said, what we... What we... What that cop, you know, it's uh, destroyed. Uh, let's take the leather, but we don't care about the bones. And that is concrete. Do I have my shovel? I do. Okay, we need to make room for that that cement as well. So I think what we'll do is chuck the feathers. We've got stacks and stacks of feathers. And we'll take some cement instead. 
Anything up there? Doesn't look like it. You know, I'm just curious. I'm going to go back and check in the video really quick what got destroyed. I'll be right back. Okay, I went back and looked, and we didn't lose anything. Uh, there was just some cabinets along here, and it didn't even look like any of those cabinets were lootable, and there was the dog kennel here. Uh, so, uh, wait. Oh, I guess we <laughs> I guess we never completely finished butchering that dog. <laughs> well, how did he get back? All right, so yeah, no problem then. We, we did not lose anything at all. Is there something you need? Uh... I guess I'm gonna have to pay you now that you did it. This, all this stuff kind of sucks. Well, the Molotovs don't suck. So, yeah, let's take the Molotovs and... Yeah, the Molotovs are good. All right, let's check his inventory, because I don't know if I've been back here since he reset. If he's got any motor books, we'll take those. But he's like the farming dude. Farming and food, maybe, I think. It's got a scope mod, robotic sledge. We could buy some electric fence posts from him, but we can make those ourselves. So I'm not too worried about that. He's got some ski goggles, which would give us one plus agility. But, you know, the thing is, is I... I've never not played this game and not eventually found all of the glasses, so I think we'll hold off on that. Yeah, he doesn't really have anything else. Okay, let's we uh, we can sell this to him and that to him, and that should be a sale is a sale about it even if it's to, to a scumbag, scumbag like you. you. Okay, uh, no, not Just inventory. Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> relax. Okay. Let's take another quest from him. Um, Look, blockhead. I I'll give you work. I think we've done store three. Brass balls. Listen up, jackass. I don't you think we've done this. Show some respect. The cell residence? Maybe, maybe we have. Let's I'd take that. It's as long as we're doing quests that, you know, even if they're tier one, as long as they're ones that we haven't done yet, I'll do them on camera the first time. We might have done the Acel Resonance. I just don't remember. So since I don't remember, we're going to do it. Oh, right. This place. Yeah, we did We did um, an infestation here. I remember now. Okay, let me put a couple things in here that we're not likely to loot again. Check the mailbox. Oh. So we've actually done this actual one before. Gotcha. Yeah, it's been cleared. So let's just start it, and we're going to just speed run through here ASAP. And because this isn't an infestation, we should be able to bust it out very quickly. Just taking a quick look here. We'll grab the waters out of these guys. Not too worried about the plastic. we got a nice supply of plastic at the moment. Um, is that BDU better than what we have? It's got better cold resist, but not heat. I think I'll prefer, prefer to keep the heat one. Uh, this is just a clear, too, so we don't have to um, take up a slot with a satchel thingy. Check the stove. No. We can get that for mining. Here we go. Boom. We can now make spaghetti. Ten more of those books, guys, and we're maxed out on food. It's an amazing thing. It's a beautiful... Nine more. Nine more of those books, and then we're maxed out. Eight more. This is a good kitchen, man. Lots of lootable cupboards. Except for we don't want this. And this actually let's scrap because... It's not really worth very much money. Search this cabinet. We already did. Okay, so I think we're finished here in Le Kitchen. Yeah, that was a good haul. Um, bust that open, get the meds. And check for the water. 
and we're ready to move on. There is a Zombadoodle there. Don't think we can headshot him. Uh, let's do a nut shot. Oh, we got two. Oh, he's feral. Okay, we're done with him. Let's collect that so we can get the spoiled meat. Nothing there. There's usually a zombo in here. Ar Arlene, you were supposed to be inside of here. You need to be where you're supposed to be. Quit tricking me like that. food what is that seven seven more to read now let's get rid of this this and this and eat the pears where did it go here we go all right get ready for some more zeeks up here copper risky a headless cop i'll take those Here and around. We got a backpack. Six more to go. Man, this is a great place for food magazines, isn't it? Okay, let's grab all this plastic because it's right here in front of our face and we have a slot already using plastic, so we might as well. And we have the requisite uh, military dude. That did not kill him. Unbelievable. That did. Okay, let's see. Is there anything in here? Yes, sports bag. Okay, take a couple bandages. Um, nothing else around in here. Grab that. And. Okay, never mind. Get out from underneath that bed. And we're done. Okay. Oh, no, don't break that. Loot it. Nice, we got some lockpicks and stuff out of that deal. Check this. Five more to do? Okay, that we will scrap. I'll chuck this. I think I'm going to just scrap these. More pairs to eat. We definitely want the black strap for mining. And nothing there. Check the shoddy messiah. Another weighted head mod. Uh, do I have room for that on here? I already have one on there. What about you? You have one too. Look at that. I don't think we can put those on a knife and there's no room for it anyways. Here, we can put it on here. That'll save us a slot. Okay, let's check the fat loots. I already have one of those, so we'll save that to put on some clothing to sell. And we're not leaving seven... Uh, seven seven six twos behind, so we're gonna sacrifice the leather instead. Cause here again, we have lots of it. Okay, let's go back for the turning. I don't think we checked this, did we? Nice, armor crafting. I shake your hand. But I'll bet you got dysentery the way you smell. Yeah. <laughs> Is that new? <clears throat> that uh, little jab from him? You know what? I think I want the Shamway secret recipe because sham chowder, baby. Um, so we're going to take that. 
Okay, now we've got a clear at pass and gas, which, like, you, like I said, I think we've done, bullshit. and this hey, is... Jerk, you need some work or what? Yeah, this is the house that's up on the uh, on the lift that they're moving. Uh, all right, I'm going to do... I knew you were a coward the moment I laid eyes on you. Name's not important. I'm going to do that one, but I'll, I'll do it... Next time. I'll do it off camera, and I'll just show you guys the end loot. Let's read this. Nice. Okay, so now we can make our own sham. And, um, and then, therefore, our own sham chowder without relying upon loot to get the sham. It's a good thing. All right. Let's just go bust this one out really quick. Like I said, I'm just going to show you the end loot. And the turn in, and then we'll have to wrap up this episode. Dang, Big Mama. You weren't even feral either. All right, guys. Um, Here's the deal. I, on occasion, will do this. And those of you guys who have been watching me for a long time know that this sometimes happens. Um, in fact, it happens really to almost every YouTuber. I uh, forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> so uh, we went through the passing gas. We got... Uh, for the loot, we got, like, uh, some handgun parts, and I don't know, and nothing super fantastic. It wasn't it wasn't even really camera-worthy, to be honest with you. Uh, then we came back, we did the turn-in to Wrecked, and we took, uh, we finished Tier 1, so we took a, um, we took a magazine from him. What magazine was it? It was the one that we're, oh yeah, where we can find uh, rare gems when we're mining. Uh, so one of the mining magazines. Let's take a look at that. Lucky looter, mining, where's mining at? Oh, this right here. So, yeah, this one here. So, so it was volume one, as a small chance to mine rare gems of drawers. So we, uh, we got that for our reward for the quest. And then we finished tier one. And I decided to take the farm bundle because everything else he was offering, well, you know, you get the bicycle, you get the filter, which we don't need either one of those things. And then I think it was a ranged mod bundle and then the farm bundle. And I decided to take the farm bundle because, you know, we're we're in the process of uh, starting a farm at the base. And that's pretty much it. And then we took opening trade routes from him. And um, we have a new trader gin up here uh, to the northwest, uh, which will uncover... Either, you know, the the other end of this town, if it's a big town, or a new town up there, which we'll, we'll do at some point in the future. So that's pretty much it. Um, the other... Th oh, I know what else I was going to tell you. This is really important. We, um, we found also in the end loot at the gas station a... Was that a... Oh, I looked like a duffel bag. Uh, the, an, another uh, engine magazine. So we are we have now unlocked... Um, vehicles and when that happened we got all four of these items at once so we so we don't have to work our way up to the handlebars it just unlocked the whole thing which is great so in the next episode what we will do of course is we will build our mini bike and we'll have that ready to go finally and then we're also going to probably have to take another trip to the desert and mine some oil shale so we can um, make some gasoline i have some gas uh, but you know we're now that we have or, or will have a vehicle uh, we're going to need a lot more than just what i've looted up to this point so i think that gets you caught up again sorry about that but sometimes it just happens i got actually interrupted in real life which was part of why i kind of screwed up on starting the recording again and it is what it is so with that being said i'm going to let you guys go here thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll see you in the next episode goodbye